Welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. So in today's After Effects tutorial, we are going to see that how can we create a cool looking brush stroke animation in Adobe After Effects. You all must have seen that uh, in a variety of places, uh, there is an animation in which the text or the image is revealed through a brush stroke. So that animation is actually very pretty to look at and it attracts a lot of viewers as it is related to a painting animation. So today we are going to create the same animation in Adobe After Effects and trust me, it is pretty simple to create. So first of all, let's see that what we are going to create and what our end product will look like. So this is the brush stroke animation that we are going to create today. So first of all, let's start with our tutorial. And as we know that we have to go to composition to create a new composition. And now you have to give a composition name. So I'm naming it brush animation, but you can just give it any name that you want. It's totally up to you. Now you have to keep a frame rate of at least 30 frames per second and a duration of five seconds, then hit OK. Now, as soon as you do that, your composition would be created. The next thing that we are going to do is create a solid layer. So go to your layer area over here, right click, go to new and select solid. Now you can name it anything that you want or keep the name as it is, but I'm going to name it BG cause it will be our background layer. So it would be just a symbolic that it is a background layer and I'm choosing a white color and hit OK. Now you can choose any color that you want. Now just lock this background layer cause we do not need to apply any modifications to this layer now. The next thing you're going to do is uh, you have to download an image of a brush stroke like this. So I have already downloaded an image. So I'm just dragging it onto my composition like this. And if you want, uh, I will share the link of this image in the description so you can download the same image or otherwise you can just search for any brush stroke image and download it and use it into your composition now what we are going to do for this particular image is hit s to bring up the scale make sure that this scale is not linked so just unclick this chain and increase its y coordinate to around a 180 percent like this and if you want, you can also increase the X coordinate a little bit. Uh, I'm keeping X coordinate as 130 and the Y coordinate as 180%. What we are going to do is animate this brush stroke and uh, make it appear as if it is a brush stroke. So for that, what we are going to do, make sure that none of your layers are selected and grab onto your rectangle tool. If you cannot see a rectangle, so you can just press the Q later on your keyboard and you will begin seeing the rectangle tool. Now I have chosen a fill of a solid color and its color I have kept black as my brush stroke is black in color but you can choose any color and make sure that this fill color is the same as that of your brush stroke color. The stroke I have chosen to be none. Now you have to make a rectangle that completely covers your brush stroke image just like this. Now what we are going to do is go to effects and presets and search for an effect called turbulent displace. You will find turbulent displace under distort. So just take it and apply it to your shape layer. It will change into this kind of shape, but we have to apply some modifications to it. So in turbulent displace, change the displacement from turbulent to a horizontal displacement. Increase the amount to around 1200 and change the size to around 8. So this is what we have got and it looks pretty good. This is what is going to be animated and bring up the brush stroke. So grab onto your shape layer, press P on your keyboard to bring up the position. Keyframe the position at the current value when you are at the very first frame in your composition. Move forward when you want your animation to be complete, that is around 15 frames or so. And 
change the value of position just uh, move the x coordinate a little bit so that your whole of the brush stroke image is now visible just like this so if we just preview from the very first frame it is moving like this but that is a pretty plain animation and it doesn't look like as if it is a brush stroke so for that what we are going to do is select both of these keyframes hit f9 to easy ease them then here you will find an option of graph editor so click on it and just uh, change the shape of the graph a little bit like this now you can come back to your original timeline go to the very first frame and play your animation so it moves like this which is actually what a brush stroke looks like and once you are happy with this you can just go to your image layer and and change its track mat to alpha inverted mat now if we just preview it then our animation is looking somewhat like this which is actually resembling a brush stroke now for the next step what we are going to do is select both of these layers and pre-compose them together now you can name it anything but i am naming it stroke as it is a brush stroke animation the next thing that we are going to do is just duplicate this stroke and move this stroke layer to the point where your animation of the previous stroke layer is actually completing now what we are going to do is right click on this stroke layer go to transform and select flip horizontal next press the arrow key to bring this layer a little bit downwards if you want to see that what is the current position of this layer you can just move forward a few frames in time when this layer's animation is complete and bring it downwards now we have to make some of the adjustments to this layer so go to this pre-composition press R to bring up the rotation and rotate it a little bit like this now if you want you can just uh, change its position that is looking good now if you want you can just uh, go to the first very first frame and preview your whole animation so it is looking like this which is pretty good and looks like as a brush stroke so what we are going to do is uh, take both of these layers stroke layers and pre-compose them again this time we are going to name them animation because this is our basic animation that we have created now what we are going to do is place some of the text which is going to appear with this animation but before that if you want you can just adjust the position of this pre-composition a little bit so it appears as if it is on the center of the screen now one more thing if you want you can just change the color of this animation anytime and if you want to do this is the point where you have to do it so you can go to effects and presets and search for an effect called fill you will find it under generate take it and apply it to your animation layer now you can choose any color that you want here are a variety of colors from where you can choose uh, any color of your choice but i'm just keeping it a black and if you want you can just delete it if you want the original color of your image but if you want to change the color you can keep any color of your choice with the help of the fill effect now grab onto your text tool and type in any text that you want this is the text that i have typed that is brush stroke animation now adjust it and make sure that it appears on the center where your brush stroke is appearing just like this if you want you can just increase its width a little bit so that it appears more related to this brush stroke now the only thing that is remaining is the entry of this text so for that go to your animation composition duplicate it 
drag one of the composition layer just above your text layer and change its track mat to alpha mat animation. Now if we just go back to the very first frame and preview our animation. So this is the brush stroke animation that we have created and I hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial and keep watching the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge for more such tutorials. Till then, goodbye.